Dumela, once again, Kalivito Kinaka Mahalo Wahakwapa, and welcome to yet another episode of Monday Rutene with Pretoria Psychologist. My topic for today is grief of a loved one. We have something called seasonal affective disorders. So, in simple terms, what it means is that you experience depression, you experience mood swings during the same time of the year, every single year. For example, you might have a traumatic experience that is associated to that time of the month. So you might find that maybe during September, you had, like I said, experienced a traumatic experience. So every year around that time, you go into a seasonal depression. I don't know if that makes sense. So with me, I experienced seasonal affective disorder or depression um, when I lost my dad. This happened in November the 7th, 2014. So every year after that, I always experienced some form of depression. I never really understood why or what caused it or what it was. Until, of course, I did my research and I understood that I never really grieved him. I never really accepted his death. I always thought to myself, okay, he's gone, it's whatever. Thinking that that is a protective factor. Well, in reality, it was destroying me more than actually protecting me. I found myself avoiding things that reminded me of him avoided places that he would go, songs that he would play, everything that reminded me of him, I avoided. And I don't think that is healthy at all. So in your case, you might be experiencing a similar thing where you are confused. Why is it that I always experience sadness or I'm always moody or I don't understand what is going with me around the same time every year? I think it's time that you introspect and you dig deep into what could really be the problem. What could be the cause of what you're going through? Could it be a traumatic experience perhaps that you haven't dealt with, that you've been avoiding? Because avoiding something is not healthy. Sometimes we say to ourselves, no, I'll deal with this later, or no, I'm okay. And internally, you are actually not okay. You are bleeding. It's like a wound. You can't be hurt physically and just put a plaster on a wound that is not disinfected. What happens is that that wound will start spreading and actually spreading around, rotting and spreading all over your body if not treated. So it's imperative that when you have a wound, you disinfect it first before putting a plaster on it. Many a times as people, we find it very normal to just go on with life like nothing happened. And that is not okay. Sometimes you bury yourself with work. Sometimes you go and you self-destruct. Like, for example, drinking alcohol, drugs or whatever, which is really not healthy. So it's imperative that we learn about these kind of disorders so we know how to deal with them. I would say that if you have lost a loved one, what helped me was going to my dad's grave. I remember it wasn't until I went to his grave for his tombstone unveiling that I actually understood that he's gone, that I accepted that he is gone, that I'll never see him again. And all this time, I thought I was okay. It took me breaking down and acknowledging the fact that I'm never going to see him again for me to start my journey of healing. And I think that is what you need to actually understand, that you need to accept the things that you cannot change. And that is how you can start on your journey of healing. What helped me as well was journaling. I would advise that if you are still suffering from accepting the loss of a loved one, that you journal. Write them letters if that helps you. Sure, you might not get answers but it will help you find the closure that you need because you will actually express how you feel as opposed to just bottling all of it in and not expressing it. Remember, whatever it is that you bottle in has a way of coming out. And normally when it does come out, it's not a pretty picture. So it might be grief. It might be a traumatic experience that you have blocked in your memory. Your memory is capable of actually, your mind rather, is capable of blocking certain things that you don't want to remember. Sometimes it might take a friend reminding you that you remember what happened on this day and you might not even recall what happened, but only to find out that it was actually a traumatic experience that you blocked out from your mind to protect yourself from remembering it. And that could be the cause of your seasonal affective disorder, where each year around the same time, you have experiences of depression. So I believe it is imperative for you to do your research to try and understand what this could mean and to try and introspect, like I said, what could actually be the problem of your seasonal affective disorder. There is nothing wrong with you. Let's break the stigma of mental health illnesses. Let's break the stigma of people 
making you believe that when you're depressed there's something wrong with you there is nothing wrong with seeking help there is nothing wrong with saying that i'm not okay because it's okay not to be okay it's okay for you not to be strong all the time it's okay for you not to have it all together all the time i know for a fact that i don't always have it all together but i always try by all means to be honest with myself and ask myself Kamu, what could you do better Kamu, are you okay so ask yourself those very same questions for you to be okay mentally emotionally and of course physically so from your goal thank you